What's going on, fish family? This is Roberta with RLC Aquatics. I hope you all are being positive because being negative is a disease and you all know we don't have time to be quarantined. In this video, I'm just showing you guys a little fun that I'm having with these little side projects. Uh, this is technically, I wouldn't even call it a project. It's something I'm having fun with. Uh, I guess we can call this life in a jar. I've been watching a lot of videos with these people doing some amazing things. And, um, I, you know, I would call it art. Uh, because the things that they set up and the things that they are doing with these aquatic plants and uh, no, low tech, no filter, uh, you know, minimal lighting, it, it's amazing. And it's just inspired me to have fun with it. You know, and this is something that you could do with your kids, your husband, your wife. And it's, you know, it's a nice little centerpiece in the house. If you have some good lighting and you can put it somewhere in, in the house. And I think these things are just beautiful. I'm, I'm getting into the aquatic plants. I'm not a professional. I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to the aquatic plants. So if you have any idea what this plant is, please comment below. The red in this is amazing. I'm not sure, again, what it is. But let's, I mean, look at the red coming out there on the bottom. Look at that. And if you guys watch my past videos, you know that I'm a big moss fan. Not Randy Moss, but physical moss, green moss that grows in the ground on trees, uh, such and such. But basically, this is moss that I've grabbed in South Carolina. I was in, at my dad's house on vacation and picked up some moss from the, from the forest. Threw it in a Ziploc bag, took it back to me in Florida. I didn't know how well it was going to do submerged, but I mean, as you can see, it's not having any problems at all. So, you know, piggyback off me. If you guys have any moss in the air, pick it up and put it in, in, in your tanks. I'm not necessarily, you know, want to put it in with any uh, fish that you may want to survive because, you know, I'm not going to be responsible for that. But, you know, just experiment. You know, this is what this hobby is about. And I'm just having a lot of fun doing things like this. So I'm not sure if you all watched the video with Aquarium Co-op. He went into this uh, Asian couple's, a husband and wife's fish store, and they explained the deep sand beds and how they do no water changes. And I just piggybacked off that. And let me tell you, I've been, I've been implementing it in my fish tanks. It, it works. You know, it works. So... It's just science, you know. Like I said, I'm not a guru. I have, I'm, I'm, I'm still a rookie at this. I'm still learning, as most people are, which is why I go to YouTube and I, I, I ask questions. I look for advice, and you know, you, you grab what you grab, and then you implement your own things. And you know, this is, this is what it's about, people. This is what it's about. So I'm having a lot of fun. Just wanted to give you guys a quick little update. If you watched my first live stream, you saw a couple of jars that I was working on. This is one of them, and. I didn't get too pretty with it. I just threw some plants in there, uh, a rock, and let it go. This is about a month old maybe, I think a month and a half old, and I ended up dipping the plants back in the water because they were actually coming out of the side. So I just went ahead and just dipped them back in. And I'm not doing anything. I'm not putting, I'm not putting any fertilizer in it, just adding water and keeping it in my front porch, and that's it. So I just wanted to share with you guys. You know, I, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Appreciate all the support. I love you all. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week. This is Roberto signing out. God bless.